Welcome to the Frogs in the Classroom lesson on the anatomy and physiology of frogs. This lesson is suitable for grades 3 to 7. This presentation can be used in conjunction with the Frogs in the Classroom lesson plan and there are worksheets available to conduct learner assessments. Well, let's start with what are frogs. Frogs are vertebrates, which means they have a backbone. They belong to the class of amphibians, and amphibians live part of their life cycle in or near water and the other part of their life on land. There are three types of amphibians. We get frogs and toads, salamanders and sicilians. The body of a frog can be divided into the head, a short neck and the trunk. The head consists of the brain, mouth, eyes, ears and nose, and we'll work through the rest of the anatomy on, in the following slides. Perhaps the most interesting thing about frogs is their permeable skin. With their permeable skin, they're able to absorb and drink water, and then also they're able to breathe with their skin. Although they have lungs, they also absorb most of the oxygen through their skin. They shed their skin once a week, and they also secrete toxins. These toxins help them to fight bacterial or mold infections, but the, the toxins are so good People also harvest these toxins to create medicines. Much medicine has been made for pain and also stomach ulcers, and people are doing research in how to prevent HIV AIDS infections with some of these toxins that are found from frogs. The skin contains chromatophores. These are cells that contain or produce pigments to display certain colors for protection. As you see in the diagram, cells appear dark when the pigments are evenly dispersed throughout the cell, while when they are all aggregated in the center, they appear light. External nids are like, located on the top of the frog's snout and look like small slits. These make it possible for the frog to float on the surface of the water, leaving its external nids above the water level for inhaling oxygen. Amphibians' eyes come in all shapes and sizes. Some even have square or heart-shaped pupils. These eyes are protected by a nictating membrane, which lubricates the eyes and provides protection from dust, for example. The nictating membrane also is semi-transparent and covers the eye completely, helping the frog to see underwater and hide from predators. This helps camouflage the eye as well, so that they won't be detected by predators. A frog's tympanic membrane is the circular patch of skin directly behind its eye that we commonly call its eardrum. It functions much like our eardrum does. The tympanic membrane transmits sound waves to the middle and inner ear, allowing a frog to hear both in the ear and below the water. A frog's long and muscular legs are its key to success. They use these for jumping and swimming, which will ensure that they can get away from predators as well as catch their prey. And if you can believe it, some frogs can jump up to 20 times their own body length in one single leap. Frogs' bones also form new rings every year when the frog is hibernating, just like trees do. And scientists can count these rings to discover the age of the frog. Webbed feet assist frogs in swimming, and frogs who have them are able to swim faster. They create more of a surface area, allowing the frogs to apply more force against the surrounding water. The trunk of a frog forms walls for a single body cavity known as the colon. The colon holds the frog's internal organs, and these internal organs will be discussed in the following slides. The esophagus connects its throat to the stomach and is the highway for food and liquid to the stomach. The stomach secretes acids and enzymes to digest the food. The intestines absorb most of the nutrients from the food and water. The rectum stores feces from food waste. The cloaca is where feces and urine are eliminated. The kidney filters blood, removes waste and controls the body fluids. The lungs absorb oxygen from the air into the system. The heart pump, pumps blood through the system. A frog's life cycle starts with, with eggs. A frog can lay as many as 4,000 eggs at a time. These eggs go into fish-like larva called tadpoles. The tadpoles grow larger as they feed on algae and bits of plant material in the water. And as it begins to metamorphosize, the tadpole grows hind limbs. After both pairs of limbs are complete and the animal has exchanged its gills for lungs, the frogler crawls onto land. The frog then reabsorbs the rest of its tail and continues to grow.
until it reaches the adult body size. Let's see how much you've learned. Take this quick quiz. How many types of amphibians are there? Are frogs vertebrates or invertebrates? What is the tympanic membrane? Why is the nictating membrane important? How does permeable skin help a frog? Can you list all the stages of the life cycle of a frog? You can also take the online quiz by clicking on the link below and you can um, complete the, the quiz online. Thank you and I hope you enjoyed the lesson on frog anatomy and physiology. Please go to our next lesson on frog habitats.